Hey there, Flyers Nations. Well, this is another edition of uh, Season of the Fan of the Flyers. Um, you know, you know, we all know that the Flyers got their butts handed to them back to back in in Western Canada. First against uh, Cal the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers on uh, a couple nights ago. And you know, and, and let me tell you something. I, I knew the Flyers were going to lose to the Edmonton Oilers. I mean, everybody knows that the, the Edmonton Oilers right now are the best in the West. And, uh, you know, you know, uh, it really wasn't all Carter Hart's fault. I mean, he, I mean, he want, he, he real, you know, Carter Hart wanted to play against the the Edmonton Oilers and uh and uh that's his hometown in in uh in Ed, in Edmonton Alberta but but you know uh but look it is what it is I'm just a fan watching uh you know I, you know there's nothing I there's nothing I can do about it except I'm just a fan watching watching these games Okay, I, you know, I, I get that, but, you know, let me tell you something about, you know, let me tell you something about, you know, I got news for you, uh, Provorov and, and Gossip Spear. You, both of you have been pe playing piss poor lately, okay? You know, you, I mean, both of you haven't, ha haven't done a damn thing in in over in over a year i mean something has to change okay you know you know i mean but uh but a as we all know um for the edmonton oilers um they they were a much better team than the, than the flyers were and uh and uh, you, you had uh, you had Dry Subtle that played really well, who scored, and also uh, Connor McDavid. You know they both played really well, and get, and guess who else scored? Uh, uh, X Flyer Brandon Manning. <laughs> Imagine that one. But you know, but it was, but you know what. It was finally good to see uh, Voracek showed up and scored two goals, and uh, Lim and and uh, Limblom scored a goal. But but look, I understand the jet lag for the Flyers uh, ha has caught up to them, and uh, and then the and then the Flyers do re and the Flyers do return home to the Dallas Stars, and then. And then my, my, uh, Neil B, a.k.a. the Mighty Fan, and myself are going to the Flyers game Monday night against the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, but, you know, we, we hope to see a good win. Uh, both uh, Neil and I, both Mighty Fan and I, both hope to see a good game and hope they win. But, you know, uh, I don't know if any of the Flyers fans watch my, Flyers players watch my videos. But you know, but yeah, I, I think I think the travels for the Flyers ha has caught up to them. I know that they're t I know they have their tired legs um, uh, on and off the ice. I get that. You know when you tra when you travel five th when you travel uh, when you travel over five thousand miles, it's gonna. I mean, boy, it's gonna catch up to you. But. You know, but but so far, but so far, um, you know, if you know, but after four goals, when Carter Hart gave up four goals, they put Brian Elliott in there, and uh, he really and and uh, honestly, he he really wasn't that much better either. He gave up, he gave up two freaking goals. And uh, but luck, luckily, uh, luckily, uh, you know, I didn't see the whole game. I, I, I went to bed after the first period because, you know, I was I was exhausted and and uh, 
I had, and it was late and I had to get up early the next day. But we can, we can only hope that the Flyers can, can win tomorrow against the Dallas Stars. After all, it is Dallas weekend. Uh, the Eagles, or excuse me, rather, the Flyers play the Dallas Stars uh, tomorrow night at the Wells Fargo Center at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. And then the, and then the Philadelphia Eagles play the Dallas, uh, Dallas Cowboys in Dallas, Texas. But, you know, you know, we can only hope, uh, you know, I'm not making predictions for the Flyers and the Eagles this weekend because, because when I do, I get, you know, my optimism, my, op, you know, my optimism isn't, isn't as good. But, you know, like I said to you, I mean, if you would have, now, if you would, and listen, if you would have asked me um, how the flyer, how the Flyers are going to do this year, I'm going to give. I'm going. To, I'm going. To, I'm going to answer that question for you. If the fly, if the, do I think the Flyers are going to have? Uh, um, uh, do I do I think the Flyers are going to have a great season this year for 2019 and 20? No, I don't. I don't think the Flyers are going to do great this year. I think I think they're going to do okay. Okay. I think I think they'll they'll just do okay. They're not going to do great. Okay. But, but as far as the playoffs goes, it's, it's way too soon for me to tell you. Okay, I, I, probably, I probably would get a better answer for you after the All-Star break, but, but, not, but, not, right, but not right now. But, um... Yeah, last night I watched a, a little bit of uh, the Rangers Devils game. Uh, la- uh, last night, uh, the New Jersey Devils finally got their first win of the season. They beat the New York Rangers four to two. The Battle of the Hudson. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up to you because you have two rookies battling each other. Uh, Jack Hughes going against Capo Caco. Uh, that was a so it was a good, it was a good, it was a good matchup to watch with the battle of, of the young guns. You know they, you know, uh, I didn't watch the whole game, but but I do know that th- that the Devils got their first win of the season, and also the New York Rangers lost again to the Washington Capitals five to two. But <laughs> but. Uh, Ovechkin uh, did score the goal. Uh, goal. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I was. I'm watching highlights of it right now. I'm switch switching back and forth to uh, the Sixers preseason game and uh, and the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. But but uh, but yeah, you know. You know, but, you know, but yeah, um, also congratulations to the Washington Nationals for, 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 for getting into the World Series. You know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not a Washington Nationals fan, but I'm happy, but I'm, but I'm, I'm happy for them coming from a Phillies fan like, like me, but, uh. But you know, uh, it is you know it is what it is. But you know, tomorrow you know I'm going to do some errands tomorrow. Uh, be, be, but hopefully, I should be in before the Penn State game or the or the Temple game rather. Temple play, Temple plays tomorrow, and Penn State plays uh, Michigan, and then of course my Philadelphia Flyers take on the Dallas Stars. Uh, and uh, but but we'll see. You know Dal- the Dallas Stars are pretty good. You know you have you got to keep an eye on Tyler Sagan. And then and then uh, Ben and then and then the Big Ben Bishop 
will probably will probably be in goal uh, tomorrow, and uh, we're not you know we're not sure who's going to be in goal for the Flyers tomorrow. Whether if it's Carter Hart or Brian Elliott, but but uh, but you know I just you know I just want to I just want to up, uh, update this video uh, for you uh, before the puck drops for tomorrow and. Uh, I'm hoping to make another video tomorrow before before I go to the Flyers game on uh, Monday night with Mighty Fan. Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll make a video together uh, at inter intermission. We shall see. But but uh, all right, everybody, take care. Let's go Flyers and uh, go and and go Birds on uh, on. Uh, on Sunday, but all right. Well, you take care, and uh, I'll see you all on my next video. All right. Bye-bye.